Good morning 5P. Um, this video is to teach you how to use the online software for circuit construction or otherwise known as electric circuit simulation software. This software is found online, it's not an app, it's a website and it's a, like an application for you to um, play around with it so that you can learn electric circuits better because you can try without using the actual uh, materials to do it. Okay, so um, make sure you click the link on the SOS lesson provided link is available there and you can bookmark it because uh, throughout this topic perhaps we will use a lot of this uh, software to help us understand more about electric circuit okay so once you click on the link this is the page you will get to uh, I have my full screen mode that's why you don't see anything uh, on the top okay so um, what you have here after you click the link is that there's an intro and there's a lab please click on intro we are not using the lab function and this is where you will get to before you start, make sure you click on the top right hand corner, there's this electron and there's this convectional, click on convectional. Okay, why? Um, because in secondary school, you will learn that there's a difference between electron flow and convectional electric current flow. Okay, they're in opposite direction. So for primary school, we just look at convectional flow, which is easier to see later on. So uh, how to navigate this um, site is that all your parts of a electric circuit is on the left in this um, a panel over here. You got a wire, you got a battery, you got a light bulb, you got a resistor which you don't need to use, and a switch. So yes, all the basic components of an electric circuit you will need. At the same time, if you scroll downwards, you will see there are different things that you can try out. You can try out to connect um, a fuse to your circuit, dollar note, paper clip, coin, some more, uh, eraser, pencil, hand, and dot. Okay, so we'll be uh, trying out some of these later on when we talk about electrical conductors and electrical insulators. Okay, so let's try to construct a simple circuit um, using the four parts of uh, of an electric circuit. So for electric circuit, I will need a battery. Let's put it out. I need a bulb. I will need a switch. Okay, and I will need a wire. Of course, you will say, teacher, I don't need a switch. I can also make the bulb light up. Correct. Okay, so you can actually do without a switch, but um, just to make it more complete, I'll be using a switch in this demonstration. So let's try to make the bulb light up. We know, I know I need to connect everything together and I need to use a wire to connect everything together. So first, I will uh, connect the battery to the wire. Okay, I'll kind of extend the wire. Okay, so how to join two wires together, you realize all I need to do is to put it, uh, bring out the wire. You see two circles at the ends of the wire, just put the circles together and they will automatically join up. Okay, and then you can drag the wires to as long as you want. And then you realize for a bulb, there's two parts you need to connect to, which we explained just now when we went through the uh, answers for page 6 and page 7 of the SIN. The bulb is connected, um, the filament is connected to two parts of the bulb, one to the metal tip, one to the metal casing. So when you connect a bulb to a circuit you must connect it to the uh, metal casing for one side and you need to connect it to the metal bulb okay so let's put another uh, wire to connect the metal tip and after that I can connect the uh, switch you realize for switch I can also um, put the switch in the closed mode or the open mode so this is a open circuit because there's a gap this is a closed circuit we will explore later as well so let's leave it as open and then let's complete the circuit by connecting the wires I can drag and then I have a wire that is from here all the way down to my switch so now the wires are all connected the only gap now is that the switch is open so if I close the switch you see what happens to the light bulb okay you realize when I close the switch, the electric current can flow and that red arrow shows you the electric current. And you realize it goes from the metal casing to the metal tip and then goes round and round again. And this is what we mean by a closed circuit. All right. So if I open the switch, this is what happens. No electricity flow, no electric current flow, the bulb will not light up because there is a gap. And this one will explore more when we talk about uh, open and closed circuit. Uh, in this in today's lesson all right so uh let's say i want to dismantle the circuit what do i do i uh, realize again you click on the circle 
and then once you click on the circle there's a scissors sign click on the scissors sign and they will split up let's say i want to split this up click on the scissors sign it will split up so how do i uh, remove this i just put it back into the menu and it will disappear okay so let's try for another one let's try to keep our battery it will disappear all right so um i want you to just spend today uh besides the homework that uh there is page eight of your sin i want you to also um try to play around with this online software try to um connect different type of circuit based on your creativity and see if they work and then after that uh take a picture of one of those circuit and i want you to post on uh, class kick Okay, so class kick today there's two homework one is on uh page eight of electrical system sin the other one is posting a picture um of the circuit you constructed make sure that it is uh, a closed circuit so the light bulb lights up post a picture on class kick you can either print screen or you can either take a picture and upload on class kick all right so have fun playing with the software